Look at this example. Here's another complex fraction. You see we have a fraction, there's our fraction bar, but in the numerator and in the denominator we have other fractions, and we want to simplify this. But notice that there's an operation here, a subtraction there and there in the numerator and the denominator. To do this you have to remember this. The fraction bar groups the numerator and the denominator. So we have to do the operation here in the numerator and the operation there in the denominator first. So we'll get a number for the top and a number for the bottom and then we'll divide the numerator by the denominator. So let's rewrite this but think about doing this operation first, the 3 minus 3 fourths. Well let's rewrite this 3 as 12 fourths. So this is 12 fourths minus 3 fourths. And on the bottom, this 6, let's rewrite that as 30 fifths. So this is 30 fifths minus 3 fifths. Now, up top, 12 fourths minus 3 fourths is 9 fourths. And on the bottom here, 30 fifths minus 3 fifths is 27 fifths. Now we have a little bit simpler problem. We can do this division now. We'll be taking 9 fourths and dividing it by 27 fifths. And that's the same as saying 9 fourths times the reciprocal of 27 fifths, which is 5 over 27. That's because dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And we can simplify this a little bit. The 9 and the 27 are both divisible by 3, so 9 divided by 3 becomes a 3. Actually, they're both, both divisible by 9. So 9 divided by 9 is 1, and 27 divided by 9 is 3. And then we multiply our numerators. 1 times 5 is 5, and in the denominator, 4 times 3 is 12. And we're done.